Okay, so today we're going to make these milliner's heads and they're actually used to model hats. So they're actually full size, but we're going to make these out of paper mache. And if you're doing a hero head, you're going to use this basic structure to make the head and then you put your own details on the face. So if you've got a particular helmet that you want to put on, um, you can build that up with paper mache, so the same principle we will use. So to start with, you're going to need this piece of card. That's going to be for the base underneath. And um, masking tape. You'll need some newspaper. I've just got my scissors there just in case. And, um, and I also have my masking tape cut all around the desk. And all around my computer. So again we start to build it up with all of the tape and the newspaper squashed up, scrunched and then we'll gradually build this head up from the base of the neck. So that's the start. So as you can see I've got I build up sections with the newspaper and I'll plop that on top, build that up, and keep adding to it. I just need to keep building it up, up here, coming in here, and then head on top. Now I've kind of made the shoulders and the neck, sort of the chest part. And I've made this rough shape. It's going to be the head. You kind of see that, how it's going to look. Um, this nose, I thought I could just pop a nose in here. Um, so I've kind of fashioned it out of a bit of newspaper. I'll pop that nose in there, maybe. Is the time that I tape the whole thing down. So I get, get all the bits that stick out, like a nose, and then I tape it all up. go. See my hero's head is starting to take shape. That's the nose. And as I turn it around you can kind of see that um, yeah, it's starting to look like a human. I might um, put extra padding at the back here for the head just to pad it out because there's a bit of a, a gap in the head. So I will do that. Pop. So now I, I need to think, okay, what is my hero's hairdo going to be? So if it was the Queen of England, I would say I'd do a big crown, I'd have that sort of separate, maybe I'd make that out of cardboard. I'd probably do curls here, coming out here, stick the crown on its head, make it like Queen Elizabeth. Um, if it's going to be um, something with a mask, I would definitely um, work out what mask I'd have a picture in front of me so if it's just going to be a painted on mask then I could add that later but if it's a special sort of helmet like a um I don't know like a Star Wars helmet stormtrooper or whatever those evil dudes are um I would start building up areas off that that would take that shape into consideration okay so the more you do the less you have to paper mache. 
Okay, at this stage you've got to make sure that all the holes in your head sculpture, your hero head, are filled because you don't want to have big divots here and there. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm just going to go around and if I see like a big dent in the head like there, you can see that, that is quite a big dent. So I need to fill it. With a newspaper, you only want to make small balls though. is my head so far. I've decided to turn my hero into Popeye the Sailor Man so I need to build up his chin. I've got some pictures here on my phone. You can see Popeye's got a large chin. Mine's only, I'm only using that as a bit of a reference but it looks something like it but it doesn't matter if he's not exactly because he's my guy in the end. Okay, so I've got these two areas here that I need to put onto his chin to make him look like it's nice and square and um, manly. Okay, so I'll start to pay, um, stick those down. See my um, sailor, Popeye sailor man's coming along well. He's got his little double chin here. And I've started work on his hash. So that's coming up. Now for the little visor, um, Popeye actually has a little peak that goes on his hat. So this is just a bit of cardboard left over from when I cut out the circle for the base, or the oval, sorry, for the base. So I've kept that curve and that will fit in here. So it'll fit nice and snug and that'll be the visor, um, the visor for his little hat. Just going to trim it up a little bit, it's a bit wonky, and I'm going to tape that into place all around here. Now he's almost ready to start. The glue I mixed up before would have been fantastic for this to start paper mache. I find that homemade glue works really well to do the first layer of the paper mache. Um, I think the PVA in the end for the final coat with the tissue paper works best but you have to water it down about so if you have about a um, half a cup of PVA you'll need a quarter of a cup of water or maybe even less just a little bit just to water it down um, I just pour mine out onto the plate and glue up on that you can see he is nearly ready to start gluing I might need to put a hole in here and attach the, the wooden stick for his pipe and just pop that into place. I also found a really good way of speeding up the drying process is to put them in the oven. Um, last night I put the two rabbits in the oven and I had it only down to about 60 degrees so you don't want to burn your rabbits. Um, and but I think that was good on the bottom shelf and I when I thought that it got quite hot enough I just turned it off and left them in there all night and you just don't want to forget them and preheat your oven because you will burn <laughs> burn them if you leave them in there accidentally all right so he's coming along well I think I'm ready to start Okay, so Popeye is now ready to be taped up. I wasn't quite ready before because I had to make his pipe. So I did that with um, a chopstick chopped off and I just rolled up a tube of paper and have made a hole in the end. So I'll just mask him, tape the stick to the um, pipe and that's ready to to go. So I'm paper mashing Popeye. Anyway, I haven't even watered down my PVA glue. I've just put my brush into water and plopped it in like that. So if you don't water it down too much, it doesn't even matter. 
So as you can see, it's really good to pre-cut your paper into small strips. Then you can just place them on the plate and glue them up as you need them. When you're um, placing your glued strips of paper onto the paper of your sculpture, crisscross them over. That just gives them added strength and lines them. Don't do more than two layers at this stage. Let them dry between. So if you've got two layers, stop and go and put it in the oven or put it by the fire or leave it to dry out because you'll have some time um, and then do another two layers if you need to for added strength and then you just do your final coat in the fine tissue paper so that makes ah, extra strong and it gives it a good finish so that you don't need to use as much paint when you're painting your design over the top to hide the newspaper print this is my sailor. Uh, I've just got him out of the oven. It's quite dry. Um, so he's ready for his final coat, which will be the tissue paper. So I've got everything set up. Add a little bit of water to that. Get my papers set up around here. I'm not going to put too much water on it. Okay, so let's get the water, mix it. So my goal is to cover him all up, a couple of coats, and I'll pop him back in the oven and then he should be ready for painting in about, no, about eight, sorry, 40 minutes in the oven should dry them out enough at 60 degrees Celsius. So here I am. I've got Sailor Boy out of the oven. He'd been in there for about an hour at 60 degrees. Then I um, a fan forced oven too. So I turned it off and just left him in there for a while. Um, I went and did a few things and I've come back to him. So I'm going to cover him with the glue and cover him with the tissue paper so that the newspaper is mainly um, blotted out by the tissue paper and there'll be very, I won't have to use much paint to cover it up and it'll be super strong once you use the PVA glue. Um, mixed with the tissue paper and we'll paint the glue on. Okay, he is looking damn fine. Okay, 